this is the beginnings of a battle bot weapon for a 15 pound bot and it's looking pretty good uh, except I've got an issue with these bearing bores. See, I have a Silver Deming 13 16th drill, but it's a little undersized. And I was able to use a step drill to get it to fit in about a quarter of an inch, but it's not really good enough. And so what I want to do is it mounts it to this mini lathe and then use a uh, boring bar to get the exact diameter for the bearing. Of course, in order to do that, I need to make sure that it remains perfectly true. And this is a somewhat awkward thing to mount. My plan is to build a plate that will fasten to these two holes. And in the center, I will drop in a 5 16 bolt. It's in the slot and it locks so that it can't, you know, it's, it's fixed rotationally. Well, I got my uh, part done and now I'm able to mount the weapon to the lathe. And I have a boring bar connected. And so we're just going to recreate that bore, hopefully a lot more precisely, and we'll be able to go the whole way through. What you're looking at is a 15 pound combat robot and it is uh, night before the competition and things are just about there. So let me give you a quick rundown on what this robot is and um, how it's supposed to fight. So probably the, the most prominent uh, mechanism on this is the weapon, which is an offset weapon and that um, it only has one contactor and yet it is balanced, and that was accomplished using a heavy tungsten metal counterweight. And we have screws so that it's adjustable. We use that to balance it. On the other side, this contactor, the blade, is made out of titanium. And that makes it a little bit lighter than steel, so it's easier to balance, uh, counterbalance. We have a brushless outrunner motor and roughly a one-to-one -one bout ratio. And then these are, they are in fact Harbor Freight drill motors. We've used these twice uh, now, two and two years in a row. And we really like the speed of the motor and it also has plenty of power because it's a drill. Uh, what's kind of cool about this one, it's just the armor has a it's an interesting shape to it that made it a little more complicated to uh, cut out than the... We have some spare armor plates. Um, but these ones have been hardened and so they should hold up pretty well. And we've also got some armor plates to go on the front. And just in case the bot gets flipped upside down, we have these little skis, or uh, they come up past the height of the weapon so that when it's upside down, it can still drive somewhat, probably not as well as with four wheels, but it will keep the weapon from touching the ground and it also keeps the rear wheels in contact with the ground. All right, so here it is uh, inverted, flipped upside down, and you can see that the uh, robot is riding on the bearings, um, and the rear wheels both touch the ground. And the weapon motor is pretty close uh, to the ground, but there is about a half an inch there. So. Uh, should be all should be well. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed checking out uh, this year's spot and we will see how we do. Thanks for watching